Simplifying Fractions. Consider this word problem. Michael cut a pizza into eight slices and ate two of them. What fraction of the pizza did Michael eat? Well, I can see that there were eight pieces, but he ate two of them. So he ate two out of eight pieces of pizza, or two eighths of a pizza. But what if this was a multiple choice problem? And these were the answer choices. I'm pretty sure two eighths is the correct answer, but I don't see it listed as an answer choice. What's going on here? In this problem, the answer choices are written in simplest form. We need to understand how to simplify or reduce a fraction in order to find it in the answer choices. Instead of thinking about a pizza cut into eight slices, let's imagine that Michael had cut it into four slices. You can see here he ate the same amount of pizza, but this time he ate one out of four slices, or one-fourth of the pizza. Two-eighths is equivalent to one-fourth. So the answer to this problem would be B, one-fourth. But unless you understand equivalent fractions and know how to write them in simplest form, you wouldn't know which answer choice to choose even though your answer, two-eighths, was correct. So what is simplest form? Writing a fraction in simplest form means finding an equivalent fraction with the smallest possible numerator and denominator. How do you simplify a fraction? To simplify or reduce a fraction, you have to divide the numerator and denominator by the greatest common factor. Sometimes greatest common factor is abbreviated as GCF. So what's the greatest common factor? It's the largest number that you can divide both the numerator and denominator by evenly. Let's look at an example. Remember, factors are all the numbers you can divide a number by. So let's think about writing 2 eighths in simplest form. To simplify this fraction, we have to look at the factors of both numbers, 2 and 8. We can set up factor t-charts to find all the factors of 2 and 8. So when I'm finding factors, I'm thinking, which numbers can I multiply together to get 2? Which numbers can I multiply together to get 8? Those are going to be the factors. Let's start with 2. I know that 1 times 2 is 2. So 1 and 2 are both factors of 2. Actually, they're the only factors of 2. Now let's think about 8. 1 times 8 is 8, and 2 times 4 is 8. 1, 2, 4, and 8 are all the factors of 8. Well, which factors do they have in common? I see one on both factor t-charts, and I see that they both have two as a factor. Which of these is the greatest common factor? They have one and two in common, but two is the greatest common factor. It's the biggest factor that they both have. Now, we can divide by the greatest common factor to simplify or reduce this fraction. Two divided by two is one, and eight divided by two is four. So two eighths in simplest form is one fourth. Let's try another. Remember, to simplify fractions, you just have to divide by the greatest common factor. Let's try simplifying six tenths. We need to look at the factors of 6 and the factors of 10. So I'm thinking about all the numbers I can multiply together to get 6, like 1 times 6 and 2 times 3. Those are the factors of 6. For 10, we have 1 times 10 and 2 times 5. Those are the factors of 10. 
Now let's look at which factors they have in common. They both have a one and they both have a two. But I only want the greatest common factor, which in this case is two. Now I need to divide both the numerator and the denominator by two. Six divided by two is three, and 10 divided by two is five. So six tenths in simplest form is three fifths. Let's try one more. Remember, we just have to divide both the numerator and the denominator by the greatest common factor. Let's try simplifying eight twelfths. We need to look at the factors of eight and the factors of 12. We'll start with eight. One times eight is eight, and two times four is eight. Now let's think about which numbers we can multiply together to get 12. One times 12, two times six, and three times four. Let's find all the common factors. They both have one, they both have two, and they both have four. So which one is the greatest common factor? One, two, or four? Four. Four is the greatest common factor because it's bigger than one and two. So let's divide both the numerator and denominator by four. Eight divided by four is two, and 12 divided by four is three. Eight twelfths, in simplest form, would be two thirds. Here are some reminders. Simplest form means an equivalent fraction with the smallest possible numerator and denominator. To write a fraction in simplest form, divide the numerator and the denominator by the greatest common factor.